Welcome to part two. We're gonna look at layer break and how to properly save your USD layers. It's quite important if you want to keep your project neat and tidy. So let's get to it. All right, let's continue. So if any of this didn't make any sense and you were like, what is this layer break? Why do I need this? How do I work with this? What the frick is this configure layer thing? Uh, let's go to this example and hopefully that will give you some clarity on uh, the, this topic. So firstly, uh, I will be explaining some other concepts as I go. So just keep, uh, just bear with me. So we have this graph here. And the first thing we have a sub create with a simple sphere and a color. Sub create, you literally just do this. And once you get inside, it's kind of like you are in SOPs. You can do your uh, everything you are used to doing in Houdini uh, before you went to the stage context. That's also how we later are, are going to be creating the fire setups. So you can see we have this sub create uh, fire setup. And this is where all the simulations are happening. Just so you are aware. So we have this sphere six here. And if you take a look at the hierarchy, uh, it goes under geosphere mesh zero. This is this uh, import path prefix. If I type wow, it's going to add another component and put our mesh here. Uh, or if you just put it under geo, it's going to put it directly under geo, right? So that's how you would organize your hierarchy from the beginning is here. Then we have our two lights and maybe just for the sake of this, let's call them fill uh, light your one, the light zero two. And then, so the lights are gonna come in. Again, if you take a look at the hierarchy, they're gonna come in under lights. That is because we are creating this primitive path. If we want to separate them into, let's say, uh, fill lights. Yeah, fill lights. You can see now one of them is under fill lights, but we want both of them to be under fill lights. So let's do this. Now we have fill lights and both of them are here. And then you decide, hey, you know what? I want a key light, key light, and put this under key light. Now you have your key lights separate like this. And furthermore, if you really want to do it properly, you would do uh, like, no, not flights, lights. Uh, let me just copy this. So this would be under lights, fill lights. Yes, yes, beautiful. Just like that. Ah, yeah. Okay. And another one. So we would have everything under lights. Fill lights are under fill lights. Key lights are under key lights. I hope that makes sense. That's how you organize your hierarchies, and that's how. You make everything neat and tidy. So if you want additional configurations or restructuring, uh, we can use the restructure scene graph in combination with configure primitives. The way we do this is the restructure scene graph. Uh, we can we can drag in our, well, we can just type and it's going to give us lights. And now it's going to put everything under uh, key lights, right? So we, if we, or like this. So instead of lights, we would just have our fill lights. And we were like, well, actually, I want everything uh, under fill lights to be under lights, like we had it before. That's how we would do it. So now we reconfigured it based on our, we bring this in and then reconfigure the lights. And we can also now, if you want to configure primitive, we can say, actually, uh, create this and put this as a group. And maybe our lights, we want this as an assembly, right? That's how you would use these nodes in combination. Okay, so let's go to our layer breaks. So first off, I will reverse this, just so it might make more sense to show you the layer breaks first, uh, and then I will jump to the configure layers. Just keep in mind that you can use them 
uh, in combination, or you can just use the configure layer separately. If you use the start new layer checkbox, it will uh, act as a layer break. All right, so I will try to showcase this in the best way possible. And to do that, I will have to split my screen so you can see when I'm saving this, what actually is saving out uh, and how that looks. And currently we have these layers that are not saved. So they are implicit layers, implicit. Uh, that I, I'm going to show you how it looks like when they are implicit. And in a way, a way to change it to explicit would be to actually properly define the safe path. And I will show that as well. There's a lot of different combinations here. So I will kind of show the few main ones and then you can experiment if you want to. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. I will split this. Okay. This will probably be better and easier to see. Still a bit annoying, but bear with me. So we have this layer break. That's where we're going to be saving this. And currently we are stripping in this one. This is export everything into one USD file. So if we save it, it's going to bring uh, save this into this one USD file that will have all the data. So USD files are essentially files with pretty much all the data combined. You can see we have our geo, we have our spheres. Uh, there's probably our lights are somewhere in here. Uh, they should be. Uh, but we, yeah, okay. So we have our lights, we have our cameras, everything is saved into this one uh, layer, which could be uh, enough and good, good enough for you if you're working alone. But the reason why we want to break this into layers and have explicit paths and all of that is so uh, when you work, when you're working in a studio, you have a consistent, consistent hierarchy and control over your data. So if we continue to the layer break, uh, master separate, where I'm just going to save it first, uh, it's going to complain because we don't have, uh, we still have implicit layers. So it's going to give us an error. You can uncheck that and then save again. And it's going to ignore the error. What this will do, I have a quick cheat sheet here. So strip layer, um, strip layer, if it's off like it is now, it's going to check all the other layers. So you can see this is now actually exporting where we have our layer break under FX, it's going to export FX. Under this one, it's going to export all the uh, cameras. And here, this is going to be a separate layer, it's going to export the sphere. So if we don't, and this will probably have the lights as well. Yes. So if we don't, again, if we don't set the paths, uh, it's just going to do it on its own in a janky way. It, all the paths and how it's saving this, it's it's very, um, uh, very dirty right now. So we're going to show you how to make it better. So, but this is how it's now uh, separating the layers and it's checking everything above. So I'm going to delete this and this one, it's still going to separate the layers, but it's only going to check up to, uh, up, to, oops, it's only going to check up to FX. So only this layer gets exported. And by the way, before I forget, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, when you separate the layers, this master USD, it's just going to be referencing whatever we have in this stage layer, right? I'll show you that again later, but you can see stage effects subnet. That's what it's referencing. Okay. I hope that makes sense. And the way to bring this in, you know, it's like when, if we say this, save this as one file, you just do a sub layer, bring this in and all of our files, uh, the R scene is going to be here. Same thing. If we save this as different layers, and now it's going to reference these layers. It's going to be the same thing. If we bring this in, it's still going to work. But now instead of it being one huge file, it's going to be referencing the separate files. So you have more control and you can also, well, I'll show you how to rebuild it uh, from these separate layers. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to create explicit paths, which means that we have to, through this configure, 
I will just remove this for now. So through this configure layer, we want to now save this under our layer break, which we are in right now, but slash layers. So this will create our separate layer for us. And I will activate this guy, turn this off. Remember, this is just um, if you want to use this uh, alone without the layer break, okay? Uh, this will now act as a layer break just because we turned this on. So because I do have a layer break, we can turn it off. And I'm going to turn this on as well and save this here. There we go. So now I will save it. And it's going to be the same thing. But now under layers, you can see we have proper explicit paths. So whatever we set here, uh, FX layer, you know, it's, it's actually going to be called FX layer. This is call, called cam layers uh, and so on. So you can see how setting explicit layers, it's going to change the how this is going to be uh, saved out. So what we can do now is if we um, take our sub layer and we go under layers, we can say bring in our cameras and then, you know, bring in our FX and bring in our geolites. It's probably the wrong order, but you can see. So we have our geolites, our cameras and our uh, FX. So the hierarchy is the same. Uh, as it was here. You can see nothing changed. Okay, I hope that makes sense. In the case that you don't want to use the layer breaks, again, you would do this and then turn all of these guys to start a new layer, start a new layer, and you start a new layer. And I will remove this and save this again. And it's going to be the same thing. So all of this should still work, which it does. Great, that's good. That's, it's good. It's good that things work. Uh, so that's how you would save things uh, here on the side. Uh, it, these are the same ROPs. Uh, you can just experiment with different options. Again, strip layer check is going to, if it's off, it's going to check all the other layers. If it's on, it's only going to check up to the first layer. And then this flatten implicit layers, or you can even... Uh, uh, flatten all layers, you know, it's up to you. Just experiment with the different options and you will get and always have this open like this so you can see how it's uh, actually saving it out. Uh, I think that's it for the layer breaks. Uh, just keep in mind how you're saving this and then where you're saving this because this is saved up to the layer break and this goes one layer further. So that's how it creates. So you see layer break, this is your master. These are our, uh, your layers. This guy is still referencing everything, but now it's more neatly referenced. And this only has the, the camera information. And this only has the FX layers. For instance, if you, if you start flattening layers, so if we say flatten input layers and just save this out, you can see it, it will only save the cam layer, but the cam layer will actually have the information coming from the sphere and geo and also the lights. But if you set this to do not flatten, and I will remove, delete everything again and save, it's gonna separate, it's gonna separate the layers. Otherwise it, uh, it just flattened everything into this cam layer, even all the information above it. Okay. So yeah, that was a, uh, I hope it makes sense. That was a mouthful of information but uh, I will give uh, these all of these files except for the characters uh, are going to be available later for you to check.